Okay, so scripts are kind of cool, okay? Like, I gotta be honest. I've been working on something today, and I, I continuously found myself um, in a point where I was just executing com the same commands all over again, like, many times. And I just asked myself at some point, why don't I just create a script for this? It would be way easier. So, <clears throat> here I'm gonna create a, like, a simple script to just to show you the, the usefulness of this. So suppose, suppose, okay, we are working on something like a project. In this case, I guess, uh, the Linux kernel. And you wanna find something inside whatever. I don't know, wait, where is exe4 fs? Okay, so fs exe4. So here it is, okay? And you wanna search for something inside of here. I don't have a specific key, uh, what would you call it, like key key binding for um, for searching things in the terminal. I don't, I never said it, I think. Or at least I forgot it. But yeah, I usually do it from the from the command line. And it's usually usually something along those lines where I just use uh, I just use the find command type file and execute the grab L to show the name of the files that match the expression and then whatever I wanna like search for a module in it. <clears throat> oh yeah of course. And you put you gotta put this to <clears throat> uh, to add the like the name of the file which are the name of the files which are iterating through. So and yeah we get only one result because this is the only file that contains this string. So now if we go here um, module in it. You can see that it contains the string. So yeah okay I would like to create a simple script for this just to show just to prove my point why scripts are useful on Linux. Um, <clears throat> Because you don't want to type this every every time. Uh, you would normally just create a script and like what? Change two parameters, like the location where you want to search and then the whatever the, <clears throat> the string that you are the expression that you are searching for. So it would be something like s module in it, and that's it. Like if you don't put the location. It would take the default location, which is the current directory, else, I don't know, just insert the location and it will do. It's okay, I'm gonna create something like this um, in this short video, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna call it search, search.sh, we put the default, default yeah. I'll uh, use a bin bash or sh. Um, sign over there. And then we what <clears throat> we do like we're gonna do it. yeah okay the first parameter is going to be the text so one and then the location which should be two and then we gotta check for the if the string is null uh, check if the string is empty what was it again Okay, so if C location, uh, you gotta do then the location would be <coughs> um, dot. Is it right? Yeah. Okay, and then. Actually, another check if there is no text, we just wanna um, echo search tool um, use example something like this S and then expression. And then the location, which will default to dot. Okay, and now we can just 
Oh, wait, okay, I forgot to do this, and then exit out of the program, I mean script. And here then we can just do a simple command, like type f, and for, actually up here it should be location. And then execute grab l text. Something like this. And then we should create a link. Search.sh instead of bin. To have it uh, over there. To have it accessible all, all over the system. Okay. And now you can just go to, for example, ext4. Uh, sorry, kernels. ext4. fs ext4 and do s module in it and it would find it except in this case what the hell what is this sh15 does have to be like this i don't know does have to go like this probably yeah okay fair um, and that's how you do it. Now if you want to modify the location, you just, yeah, add the location and it will change it. Okay, and yeah, that's it. That's it for this um, showcase for scripts for, I guess, beginners. I suppose more, like more advanced um, Linux users will probably already have such scripts and already know the concept, so. I mean, and the same the same concept is applicable to Windows users, so yeah, or Mac. Uh, so yeah, that, that's 